Hi everyone, this is the PLC Fiddle Hour, Minute, Second Counter Challenge. And what we want to do is create an hour, minute, and second counter to display time that when a button is activated. So we have a time button here that when I press on, it will start t timing the hours, minutes, seconds that it's on for. And this is um, a cumulative time, so if I turn it off, it will maintain the value or be memory attentive. And then when I hit the reset button, it will actually reset our counters for us. So let's just get started. And if, what we'll do is add a our actual time button. And then what we want to do is we want to add our 60 second timer. And our 60 second timer, we will make sure that if it's not on, Then we want to do is activate our timer itself and we want a memory retentive or retentive timer in this case. 60 seconds. So you'll see here that we have our 60 seconds already pre uh, done up here. Then what we want to do is after the 60 seconds has expired, go back to the variable here. Our put 60 seconds expires. Then we want to do is we want to count the minute counter. So let's go back. We'll do a count up on our minute counter. And we also then want to reset our retentive timer from our previous rung. So we reset that one and then we increment the minute by one, which makes sense exactly like our hour clock would work. Or regular clock. So next we want to do once the minute is set so our minute counter is on then we want to do is we want to count our hour up. And there's our hour. At the same time we want to reset our minute counter. So let's reset our minute counter. So, so far we've reset, we've count up to their 60 seconds. Once that hits 60 seconds, we then will reset the 60 second timer and increment our minute counter. And when our minute counter expires, then we reset our minute counter and we increment our hour counter. And now our hour, our hour counter is actually set for about a thousand hours. So uh, we can make that even more if we want, but that's while we're really timing right now. And the last thing to do is we can hit our reset. So we'll put our reset in here. And what we need to do is then reset all of our timers and the two counters for the hours and minutes. So we'll reset our 60 second timer, our minute counter up to 60, and then our hour. So that is our program, and now let's just try that out. Let's look at our, there's our seconds. We can start our time button, and if I stop the time button, it stops at the accumulated value of the time itself. So let's start that again. And what we'll do is we can wait right up to the 60 seconds or I can actually change this. We can write 58 in here. Hit OK. And we see that went back to zero. So now my minute counter is one minute now. And well about uh, nine seconds now, 10 seconds. So let's change this value here to we'll say 59. So now we have 59 minutes and we have these seconds counting. We'll change this back to 58 or up to 58. So we don't have to wait as long. That resets. This one resets after it got to 60. And that means that our counter or our counter must have one, which it does. So you see now that actually is um, memory attentive. We'll just turn this off. And again, there's my 16 seconds. 
zero minutes and one hour. So it looks like everything's working fine. And then what we can do is we can hit our reset to make sure that works. Turn that off. And sure enough, our accumulated value on our seconds is zero, minutes zero, and hours are zero back to the finish or back to the start again. Quickly check it and everything passes. So this is the logic for our hour, minute, second counter challenge. Now all the links and documentation can be found on our website at accautomation.ca and you'll also find a link, a link below with other um, challenges using PLC Fiddle. If you like this video and like to see more, there are three ways in which you can help us out. You can give us a thumbs up so other people can find this information. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also go to ACC Automation and subscribe to our website. When you do, notification will be given to you every time we publish new content to the site. You'll also get two free ebooks on numbering systems and robust data logging. And the third thing to do to help us out is to tell a friend or colleague about the site. Alright, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.